We are also following this morning more new developments in the investigation into former President Donald Trump taking classified documents with him to Mar-a-Lago after leaving the White House. NBC News has confirmed that attorneys for the former president met with Justice Department officials yesterday, including special counsel Jack Smith at DOJ headquarters in Washington, D.C. Attorney General Merrick Garland and Deputy Attorney General Lisa Monaco did not attend. The meeting comes as the grand jury investigating Trump's handling of classified documents is expected to meet again this week after a week's-long hiatus. The meeting also comes nearly two weeks after two of Trump's attorneys sent a letter to the attorney general asking for a meeting to discuss what they call Jack Smith's unfair treatment of Trump. Moments after Trump's attorneys were seen leaving the DOJ, the former president took to social media asking, quote, how can the DOJ possibly charge me who did nothing wrong? Willie, really, uh, it's, it's, it's tough. It's tough in Mar-a-Lago. <laughs> the caps lock, uh, yeah. uh, apparently. It's stuck. It's stuck. Might have been the lock. pool water. It has been all know. weekend. It's very moist. Maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe, he ha maybe he had all of his electronics in one room. When, <laughs> When he drained Hate the it. Pool. And then you get, you can't get the F. You know, you get water damage on those things. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. What happens to the documents that were in the empty folders? So. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Anyhow. Yeah. Sorry, seen, out of, seen out of Caddyshack draining the pool. More on that later. <laughs> Meanwhile, NBC News has learned a federal grand jury in Florida, and this is a bit of a twist, will also meet this week to hear witness testimony in that classified documents case in Florida. That's according to a source familiar with the investigation. The New York Times reports at least one other witness already has appeared before the Florida grand jury. At this point, though, not clear how the court proceedings there in Florida relate to the work of the separate grand jury in Washington. The Wall Street Journal reports the Florida grand jury appears to be an effort to tie up several loose ends. That's according to people familiar with the process. So, John, put all these pieces together here. We don't know exactly how the Florida grand jury relates to the, the one in Washington, but clearly with Donald Trump's attorneys sitting with Jack Smith, we're getting close to something here. Yeah, there's no question there that we're not quite sure what the timetable is, but we seem to be in the end stages of this investigation, whether that means this week, next, or a few more, we don't know. But it's clear that th there's an acceleration here. The grand jury is meeting again this week in Washington. Uh, after several weeks that they've been down, they're ramping back up. We have this development now, learning about this, this grand, separate grand jury in Florida. And as you say, we're not quite sure how they're connected, but they're related, they're, there is a sense also, of course, about the Mar-a-Lago documents case. And this is the meeting that the Trump attorneys wanted. We remember Trump Trump posted on Truth Social during one of his other all-cap screeds uh, in recent weeks that, that he posted this letter as well, saying that they wanted to meet with the investigators. And that's often what happens in the last stage before a charging decision, where the attorneys for the would-be defendant ask for charges to be dropped or at least lesser ones be uh, brought. And it's not clear that his per, per reporting that they made any progress with that yesterday. Uh, so the, the, we are now, the world is watching as to what is next. But certainly, as I've reported, I know Joe heard the same, uh, there's a sense of real panic growing uh, at Mar-a-Lago, reflective in Trump's true social tweets, but also those even calmer heads in the room say, look, we're concerned. We feel like a charge could be coming and coming soon. So, George, as a legal matter, what does it signal to you that Trump's three attorneys were at DOG, DOJ headquarters yesterday about where we are in this process? Well, they were approaching the very end. I mean, I kept hearing this earworm in my head as I was coming to the studio this morning. This is it. Make no mistake. I mean, this is this this we're getting down to the final strokes of this race. And what's really, really remarkable about it is that um, of all the things that this man has done, eight decades of lying and yeah. cheating and stealing this case, this documents case is probably the easiest, shortest, simplest, and yet carries the most severe penalties, mm -hmm. of, of likely penalties of any of the cases that he has ever, of any of the legal issues that he's ever faced. Now, people would say, uh, you know, he really, in a just world, he would go to, to jail for what he did on January 6th of the weeks approaching January 6th, and I, I kind of agree with that. But for this man who is basically a nihilistic moron, yeah. for him to go to jail, potentially, uh, for a long time, I mean, these, these Espionage Act 
charges uh, bring very heavy sentences. Um, to eventually go to jail for something so stupid and pointless and, and silly and useless as, as keeping these documents is actually kind of fitting. Once again, there is also the potential narrative of people very, very low under Trump following his orders. Is there the potential that there could be others swept into this? Absolutely. Is there any potential that Florida venue has something to do with yeah. that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I mean, one of the interesting, I mean, very, this isn't a hard case. It, it, it's like almost like a buy and buy buy and bust drug case because it's so simple. He and by the, the way, the, 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 the charging document is going to be, I, I understand, most likely going to be very short, very to the point, right. Straight line. very clean. Right. Yeah, because a lot of the facts are still out. They don't, they don't need to tell the world what happened here, and it's very, very simple. But the thing is, you, you've got acts that were committed in Florida, criminal acts that were committed in Florida, criminal acts that were committed in D.C., criminal acts that were committed in Florida that were directed at D.C. And so under the Sixth Amendment, Sixth Amendment requires that all criminal defendants be, be tried before a jury of the state and the district in which the crime is committed. Mm -hmm. There is a tricky, there's a tricky aspect of this about what the proper venue is, even for Trump. But certainly if there are, are, are lesser characters who had no involvement, no connection to anything that happened here in the District of Columbia, then uh, they would have to be charged in the Southern District of Florida, and that could be the explanation for that grand jury. Yeah.